Okay, so I'm going to read the problem, but being that we know we're going to use the addition rule for probabilities, I want to write that down prior to doing the calculations, but <clears throat> um, I'm going to read it first, and then I'll look at it and determine why we know it's the addition rule if we're not told based on the question. So at a local clinic, the probability that the doctor sees a patient on time is 73%. I'm going to just write some things down as I read. So probability that he's or he sees a patient on time is 73%. I'm going to put that as 0.73. Okay, I'm going to write things as I read them. The probability that the patient is a child is 34%. So the probability that the patient is a child is 34%. And hopefully you guys are good with um this notation, right? P of, this is like P of child. So probability that it's a child. Um, the probability that the doctor is on time for a child visit. So that's kind of the intersection, right? The probability that he's on time and it's a child, right? The probability of both is 83%, 0.83. Okay, so this is like the intersection of the two where they're both happening at the same time. What is the probability that the doctor is on time or that the patient is a child? So when I read these probability problems, you know, being that you're not always going to be told what, you know, section it comes from, you need to be able to read it and determine which rule it is. And whenever you see the or case, we know that it's the addition rule. So I'm going to write this here. I typically like to write, um, the addition rule, and I kind of almost even call it the or case. <laughs> okay, now this is the general rule. Probability of A or B. This is the probability that A occurs, or the probability that B occurs, or the probability that both occur. That's what it means, A or B. So the formula, and you want to write this on your formula sheet, is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the intersection A and B. Okay, so this is your general rule, okay, for the for um, probability. And then it gets a little simpler if we have what's called mis, uh, mutually exclusive events, but that's not the case here. We're going to talk about the general rule. And I hope you can determine that this is pr exactly directly from this formula. We have, you know, let's say in place of A, we'll say on time. So this is like saying P of A, probability that he's on time. We'll say B represents, you know, um, the, the patient being a child. So we want the probability of the doctor being on time or the patient is a child, probability of A or B. I'm gonna say on time or child, okay? Um, so this is kind of how I set it up. So when I see the or case, I know I'm going to take the probability of the first that he's on time. I'm going to add to that the probability of the second, a child. And then I'm going to subtract the probability of both on time and child. Okay, I'm running out of space. So that's on time and child. So that's how I would do this without even knowing what's given to me. So I would start looking for these things within the problem, but I already wrote them down. They gave me everything I needed. All I have to do is basically plug it in now. Probability that he's on time is 0.73 plus the probability that it's a child is 0.34 minus the probability that he's on time and it's a child is 0.83. It's all there for me. <clears throat> and when I do that, I get 0 0.24. Um, and then, of course, you want to represent your answer based on how they ask it. So, like, do I want to round it? Do I want it in pro um, percentage form? You know, just look for that. This one doesn't necessarily tell me, so I probably leave it as 0.24. Um, and then if, it, if you're looking for like percentage, sometimes they'll put like a blank and then percent next to it, which would imply percentage. But other than that, typically decimal form. So 0.24. So, so 
just recapping, whenever you hear the or case, you automatically are doing the addition rule and you have the probability of something or something, in this case, on time or child. So you always take the probability of the first, add the probability of the second and subtract the probability of the intersection if there is one. And you have your addition rule.